In 2008, our lives completely changed. Our son Troy was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. This disease is a 24-7, 365-day-a-year disease. It's a disease we personally didn't know much about until Troy was diagnosed. Through the help of JDRF and their researchers, we have been educated about the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Type 1 is usually a youth onset, and it's usually caused because the pancreas stops working. It can't break down sugars, and those sugars then turn into poison, which shuts down body organs, um, all sorts of different issues come up, kidney disease, heart failure, um, amputation of limbs. Uh, type 2 diabetes, if managed, can actually reverse itself. It is something that can be controlled through exercise, through oral, med oral medication, and um, is very manageable. Um, JDRF has done a lot of, lot of research, and their job is to find a cure. <laughs> well, they basically do a great job of raising funds, but it's a very expensive disease. There's over 3 million people with type 1 diabetes. There's 26 million people, and this is just in the U.S., that have type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And this is at a cost of almost $175 billion in the U.S. only. Worldwide, there's almost 366 million people that have diabetes, and they expect that number to nearly double in the next 20 years. Uh, it, it's something that's a worldwide problem, but it's a huge, huge drain on our health care economy, and part of, you know, one of the major factors in the cost of health care here in the United States. What we've done is we've developed a program called Strike Out Diabetes. We do a, a fundraiser every year to try and build awareness and try and raise funds for JDRF. You can help out by reaching out to us at www.strikeoutdiabetes.org. You can send a Facebook message to Chris Barnes' official fan page or to Linda Nori Barnes, uh, my fan page. Um, and you can help either by donating or raising funds on your own or also hosting your own Strikeout Diabetes event. We want to thank you, along with the help of Columbia 300, for being part of the solution within the bowling community and trying to find a cure for this disease. One day we hope to be the people that say, we helped find a cure for type 1 diabetes. <laughs>